Runway ML's Gen 1 video to video tool is now available for everyone to use on their official website. Earlier you had to apply for a waitlist and many people didn't get access to the video to video tool that is the Gen 1 tool. But now you can access it by going to the official website. So as you can see you have this option Gen 1 video to video right here. So in order to start playing around with this tool just click on Gen 1 video to video. As you can see, this lets you drag and drop videos in order to convert it into a different style. At present, you can only convert 5 seconds of video, but a few days ago it was 3 seconds and now it is 5 seconds and they are going to increase the limit soon, so stay tuned for that. In order to start editing, just drag and drop the video that you have selected onto this drag and drop option. The interface is not that difficult to use. So there is image to video like if you if you add an image and you want the video to look like the original design of the image then you can use image to video. There are presets. So let's try one of the presets in order to edit this video. This is the basic one. Uh, everyone can play around with this very easily. Then there is the prompt section where you write a prompt and then you can convert this video according to what you want according to your prompt. Let's try a preset. So I want to select paper, origami, pen and ink, clay, mation. So let's try this one and then you can adjust the style strength and then click on generate. The generation time depends upon how many people are currently using the website. It is highly likely that a lot of people must be using this because now it is free for all and there is no waitlist. So obviously a lot of people are on the website now. But it is not that slow. It takes usually around 20 to 50 seconds to generate one video. The video is finally generated. Let's look at the video. And it's a quite a funny looking video. In order to decrease the effect of this preset, we can play around with the style strength so that we get more of the characters, the original characters of the video. Let's try some other preset. Let's try pen and ink. So just click on pen and ink and let's decrease the strength of the preset and click on generate. The video has been generated. Let's look at the video. This video looks better than the previous one because we decreased the style strength of the preset. So in order to not let the preset overtake the whole video, you can play around with this option. Now I think you know how to use this preset option. Let's try some self prompting and edit the video according to what we want. Before we move any further, just keep in mind that you have a limited number of credits. You can also opt for a paid plan by going to upgrade. You have an annual subscription and a monthly subscription. The monthly subscription has around 625 credits a month and $15. For the time being you are getting 400 total credits. So you can accordingly use the tool. Now let's put in the prompt that we want the video to convert into. Cyborgs walking in a futuristic cyber city. Now let's see how capable this prompting section really is. Let's decrease the strength and make it around 36% and click on generate. Now let's see the result. I think it's looking pretty nice. I didn't honestly speaking I didn't expect such a result. I thought it must be somewhat not that detailed the background looks pretty detailed and just imagine that gen 1 if gen 1 is doing so amazing things and it is out for the public right now just imagine the people who are getting access to gen 2 what are the results of gen 2 going to look like the next prompt that i put in is aliens walking on mars and we'll increase the style strength a bit and click on generate this is the video that was generated. Let's play the video. The video looks pretty nice, I must say. You can make some amazing looking videos using this tool. And you can also play around with the prompt in order to get some better results. 
Now let's try some other video. Let's take a look at the next video that I just downloaded. In case you are wondering, I used Pexels to download this video. This is a video of a flying bird and I want to look like a dragon flying in the sky or some other atmosphere. So let's go back, drag and drop the video again. So I wrote a green dragon with scales flying in a war zone and let's see, uh, maybe we should decrease the style strength a bit and then click on generate and let's see what it comes up with. I am trying to generate the best possible outcome. Let's see what happens. Now let's see the generation. I think it is not that good. It is not that accurate, but it is something. It has the texture and scales of a dragon, but it does not look like a dragon. Now, if you are not getting the desired results, you have an advanced setting option too. So just click on this advanced option and there are a couple of tabs like style weight, style structure consistency and you have effect foreground only. So if you click this, your background will not be affected. Only your foreground will be affected. If you click on background only, your background only will be affected, not your foreground. So let's try generating something more accurate. I want to click on effect foreground only. And then I'm going back to the prompt, a green dragon. Let's remove width scales flying in a war zone. So let's delete this. A green dragon. Let's try a simple prompt in order to generate this video. So let's close the advanced settings and let's keep the style strength to around maybe 29% click on generate and let's see what it comes up with let's play the video and not even this is looking like a dragon but you need to look for yourself and create some amazing content you can also upload this to YouTube and whatever you've created you can upload it to YouTube and send a link in the description so that I can watch some of your content that you have created. Now as you can see after you are over with your credits and your seconds that were available you will get a message of upgrade to generate. So after your trial is over you need to upgrade in order to generate further. Gen 1 video to video is just one of the many tools that are available on the runway website. There are tools like image to image, infinite image, text to image, tools like train your own generator, remove background, text to image, image to image. There is also outpainting like Leonardo AI and Playground AI. So if you are interested in this canvas editor, I can make a specific video covering this canvas editor too. There is also inpainting, erase and replace and many other tools that I can cover in my future videos. There are also tools like generating subtitles in case you are a YouTuber or were wondering that how do people add subtitles. So now that you have an idea of what Runway is capable of, there are a couple of more text to video generation research papers that have come out from Google and Microsoft. It has been a month or two since they released their research papers and examples. You can go on their website and apply for early access so that when they are launched, you can try it beforehand and before anyone else. Before we end the video, let's watch this Gen 2 introduction video that the website has launched. Not too long ago, Runway pushed the boundaries of generative AI with Gen 1 a video-to-video -video model that allows you to use words and images to generate new videos out of existing ones. In the weeks since launching, the model has constantly gotten better. Better temporal consistency, better fidelity, better results. And as more and more people gained access, we unlocked entirely new use cases and displays of creativity. And today, we're excited to announce our biggest unlock yet text to video with Gen 2. Now you can generate a video with nothing but words. No driving video, no input image. Gen 2 represents yet another major research milestone and another monumental step forward for generative AI. With Gen 2, anyone, anywhere can suddenly realize entire worlds. 
animations, stories, anything you can imagine. Gen 2, coming very soon to RunwayML.com. The video personally looks really impressive. What a great time to live in right now. I'm really excited uh, for all these projects to launch as soon as possible. And I'll keep updating you on whatever is coming next.